Pandora Cooper Key, a beloved ceramicist, was remembered with heartfelt tributes at a memorial service held at St. Luke's Church in Chelsea. Friends and family gathered to celebrate the life of the 51-year-old, who passed away in July after a remarkable 24-year battle with cancer. Among those present were actress Cressida Bonus, Pandora's younger half-sister, who paid an emotional tribute to Pandora, referring to her as her darling sister and expressing that their hearts would remain forever connected. Cressida, who previously dated Prince Harry, wore a pastel-colored trouser suit as she read aloud a moving letter she had written to Pandora following her death. Pandora's friends and family filled the church, including her mother, Lady Mary Gay Curzon, and Queen Camilla's son, Tom Parker Bowles. Her mother, Lady Mary Gay, offered a touching eulogy, noting that anyone who had ever met Pandora couldn't help but fall in love with her. The service was also attended by Pandora's half-sister, Isabella Calthorpe, and her sister-in-law, Holly Branson, daughter of entrepreneur Sir Richard Branson. Additionally, Pandora's close friend, Serena Cook, lightened the mood by recounting humorous anecdotes from their adventurous travels across Latin America, where Pandora's creativity and vivacious spirit were always evident. Pandora, the daughter of Lady Mary Gay and aristocrat Esmond Cooper Key, was diagnosed with Paget's disease, a rare form of breast cancer, at just 26. Over the next two decades, she would battle numerous tumors, undergoing countless rounds of treatment, including surgeries and immunotherapy. Despite the relentless challenges, Pandora maintained a remarkable sense of positivity and resilience. In an interview just months before her death, she mentioned that her family had already discussed her funeral thousands of times, but she continued to fight courageously. Pandora's father passed away in 1985 when she was just a child, leaving Lady Mary Gay to raise her and her siblings. Although Pandora faced unimaginable hardships throughout her life, including the recurrence of tumors and severe health issues, she channeled her energy into her passions, including working as a handbag designer for Vivian Westwood. She continued in this role for 10 years after her initial cancer diagnosis before leaving to start a family with TV producer Matthew Mervyn Jones. Together, they had two sons, although they later separated. Only five weeks after the birth of her first child, Pandora was diagnosed with sarcoma, a rare and aggressive form of cancer, affecting her left eye and sinus area. Sarcomas are malignant tumors that develop from mesenchymal cells, such as bone, cartilage, and muscle tissue. Due to their rarity, most general practitioners may encounter only one or two sarcoma cases in their entire careers. In the UK, approximately 4,630 soft tissue sarcomas and 670 bone sarcomas are diagnosed each year. Doctors gave Pandora just 10 months to live after discovering the sarcoma. However, her scans were initially misinterpreted, and she was later told she was in the clear. Unfortunately, this relief was short-lived, as new tumors appeared in her cheek and nose, requiring further operations. Despite the devastating news, Pandora faced each challenge with strength and determination. Her battle with cancer intensified in 2016, when she began experiencing seizures, which would sometimes leave her unconscious for extended periods. Even as her health deteriorated, Pandora never allowed cancer to define her or stop her from pursuing her passions. Two years before her death, she founded a ceramics business, Curzon Blue, named after her mother's maiden name. The name also carried a sentimental connection to her mother's fourth husband, who had created a potent cocktail called Curzon Blue. Pandora shared that she felt it was a lovely way to honor her heritage and family. Throughout her journey, Pandora maintained her love for design and creativity, working on ceramics despite feeling weak from treatments. She regularly visited Portobello Market in London, where she fell in love with glassware and continued to source materials for her business. Even in her final months, she would visit markets, finding solace in her craft. In an interview five months before her passing, she acknowledged that this year had been her hardest, both physically and emotionally, admitting that she had experienced feelings of depression for the first time in her life. She candidly described the pain she endured but revealed her determination to stay positive, crediting her family for their unwavering support. Pandora's family was her rock, and she often expressed gratitude for their presence in her life. She shared that her mother, Lady Mary Gay, was the queen bee of the family, and her relationship with her siblings was one of unconditional love and support. 
Reflecting on the constant care she received after her hospital stays, Pandora spoke of the deep connection she shared with her family, remarking how fortunate she felt to have such a close-knit group by her side. Sarcoma UK, a charity that Pandora supported throughout her cancer journey, paid tribute to her after her death, emphasizing the significant impact she had on raising awareness about sarcoma and the challenges patients face. The organization expressed its gratitude for Pandora's openness and contributions, highlighting her warmth, resilience, and legacy. Carrie Reeves Neep, Director of Communications at Sarcoma UK, praised Pandora for her courage, noting that her story had touched countless lives and would continue to inspire others. The charity vowed to honor Pandora by continuing its mission to support sarcoma patients with renewed determination. Despite the immense challenges she faced, Pandora remained a positive force in the lives of those around her. Her kindness, creativity, and strength left a lasting impression on everyone who knew her. As her family, friends, and community gathered to say their final goodbyes, it was clear that Pandora's legacy would live on, not only through her children and loved ones but also through her indomitable spirit that never wavered, even in the face of adversity. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updates on celebrity deaths and news updates.